Hi everyone, it's um, Saturday morning. I decided to do another sit down uh, uh, video update. Uh, what's happening in my life? Uh, had a uh, interesting day uh, yesterday. I had a bit of a hangover, so it wasn't a particularly productive day. Um, and uh, it added, ended with a bit of a thud in that um, I was hoping to get a, um, a landscape to come round to my place on Sunday to actually do the front yard and put uh, sleepers uh, borders around the front where the grass is and, uh, and put a garden bed in there. Uh, but I've had, um, I was getting on okay with him during the week. We spoke on the phone a few days earlier and I found him through Airtasker. Uh, but the problem came about on, uh, on Friday. The big sticking point was um, that he wanted me to transfer money into his account so he could just purchase the sleepers uh, to, on uh, today, on Saturday. And, um, and one of the, the, the links he gave me to, to, to do it by was like a sort of a, a, an email address and something else. I didn't even know how to do it. And I was a bit resentful that I had to do it anyway because I've already put $500 aside for this job through Airtasker. So that's come out of my credit card. And I wasn't in the mood to actually pay more money to this guy um, for just for the basic supplies. That's not how a tradie normally operates anyway. All other tradies I've dealt with, they buy the materials and you pay them later when they turn up. It's frustrating for me because I really want to get fruit tree planted in the front yard because I've got to get uh, some, some growth happening there before summer. I did find a guy actually through um, Gumtree who has a lot of little um, fruit trees that are, he only charges $10 for them, which is an incredible bargain. He's got quite a large variety, so it's more of a hobby. Trouble is, guess where he's located? Gordon Vale. And, and for those who don't uh, know the geography of, of the Cairns area, Cairns is very spread out. It's like a ribbon development. And I'm up in the northern beaches, and Gordon Vale is way down south. It's actually not even a, really a suburb, it's a separate town. And it, it's, it's miles away, you know, it's just totally inconvenient. So it's a shame, unless um, uh, someone like Lynn wants to go and get some fruit trees with me down there, she might be happy to do it. She, she drives, so it may not be such a big deal, but that'd be the only circumstance where I'd actually pop in there. But the guy did reply, and it, sounded, it is a very good deal. $10 for fruit trees is very good. I mean, only small ones, but still, uh, I've seen the other prices online, you see, you know, like 30 to 50 bucks. Uh, so yeah, quite, quite good. But of course they're small and they're gonna take a while to grow. So they're not gonna, I'm not gonna get that shade this year. Uh, that's just not gonna happen. It's probably gonna take a couple of years before they grow it's substantial enough to give it shade because I'm facing west, so it's a, it's a real issue. So um, yeah, that was, um, that was a bit frustrating. So that whole, that whole plan of getting the garden extended is, is on hold right now, which is, is a real pain in the backside. Um, got other problems with the garden too. I've got a few pests eating um, the a number of plants. I've noticed there's a few of them in shoot. I can get a pyrethrum spray from uh, Coles. I wasn't up to, to, to riding yesterday on the bike because I'd have to go all the way up to Clifton Beach. Uh, but I'm feeling better today. The other advantage today, it's a, it, it's, it's a bit showery. There's a bit intermittent showers, but the wind is cut down. It was really windy yesterday, and it's not the time you want to really get on a bike when you've got real gusts of wind because it makes it hard work. So, um, yeah, like I say, it's a 10-kilometre round trip, so I don't want to be riding in, in bad conditions. Uh, it's not... You know, I'm not doing it as an endurance test. I, 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 there is a method to this. So yeah, I want to go down there. I'll get some cash out too, because I've got to actually pay another tradie, Marcus, the tree lopper 500 to get that other uh, Cuban Royal removed in the front yard, the palm tree. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, uh, that's got to be done. Uh, and um, in general terms, you know, things have, um, you know, still still really bad for, for people in Victoria, but there is, and New South Wales for that matter, with, uh, with the COVID thing, but there is a glimmer of hope with, for Victoria in that there was a, a, an editorial from the Age newspaper, which is pretty left-wing, 
and they actually seem to have been red pilled. They um, they had a, a uh, an editorial where they said that the lockdowns just can't continue on. We have to come up with another solution. Uh, that's the same sort of conclusion they came to with this national cabinet crap that uh, that Morrison organised, which I've got very little time for because I don't think it's achieved much. I think it's actually done more harm than good. It's made the country more divisive. But uh, that's that's their latest proclamation for what it's worth. Again, look at actions rather than words when you find out what governments are going to do because they, they're they not averse to lying through their back teeth and they don't know what's going to happen with vaccines and what have you. Um, you know, I've, I've taken one shot. I didn't get any, any adverse effects. So just, just like a normal uh, flu shot for me, a bit of soreness in the left arm for a few days and that was it. And um, apparently about 50% of Australians have had one shot and, uh, and they're hoping to get around 70% having the two shots later in the year. But again, is it a guarantee of anything? Because this, the, um, the, the flu always mutates and that's what this is, it's another form of flu. Um, and um, and it might be, you might need three shots, you might need four shots, you might need five, I mean, where's it gonna end? I don't believe governments, they just, they, they talk crap. But it is encouraging to see that the age, which is a left wing, rag has actually come to, to its senses to some degree and realises that, that something like COVID can't be eliminated, which is what Daniel Andrews was talking about, which shows he's a moron because he understands nothing about, uh, uh, about immunology. Uh, it just is impossible to, to eliminate a virus. It, uh, it has, the best you can hope for is control. Um, and we used to treat the, the, the flu like that. Some people say that, uh, that COVID is, uh, could have worse long-term effects, so you've got to be very careful and try to, just to prevent people from having it compared to normal flu. But uh, we have definitely shown a greater fragility in our society these days, the way we've acted towards this, in my opinion. Look, the other really shameful thing that, that uh, has happened recently is, is uh, the Biden administration's uh, absolute bungling of the exit from Afghanistan. In my opinion, there should be a number of generals court-martialed over this because you know that they have left billions of dollars of hardware there. They're basically armed the Taliban. The Taliban is one of the best uh, resourced uh, uh, military units in the world now because the bloody Americans have left literally billions of dollars of hardware or material, as they say in, in military. I don't know why they pronounce it like that, but they do. Uh, but they've, they've left, uh, there's dozens of Black Hawk helicopters, for instance, um, numerous numbers of Jeeps, uh, hundreds of thousands of rifles. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and how they didn't get an exit strategy for all this stuff prior to, uh, um, to, to getting rid of military personnel. That should have been the last thing they got rid of was the military personnel. They should have got the civilians out. They didn't. There's hundreds of Americans that are stranded there. Apparently there were Americans, people with American passports went up to military to get sanctuary there and they were refused by the soldiers. Those were the orders of these asshole officers in the American military uh, were giving. It's disgraceful. I mean, that's why I'm saying court marshals are, uh, I think there's going to be some, a huge uh, case, court case over this. There's going to be an inquiry. Uh, this is not gonna just uh, rest like this. This is, it's basically sunk the Biden uh, administration, which is already on life support. Of course, the other wonderful thing is that, that Biden was at uh, a, uh, a ceremony for the fallen and he was looking at his, bloody like, furtively looking at his watch because obviously he's bored crapless. He really is uh, plummeting in the opinion polls, big surprise. It's not just the senility thing, it's just he doesn't lack, he seems to lack all human compassion. The man is not up to task and needs to go. Camilla Harris is no better. She is also, uh, and, and is even less popular than him. So that's not gonna be a solution. Um, 
I think that there, there's talk of both of them being impeached and that could well happen. It's got to that stage. You're getting very dangerous waters here. The polls are a joke in America. There's, there's so much push polling and poor sampling. Most of the polls are just garbage. So the, even these polls, the push polls, are showing that, that Biden's support is tanking. Uh, <laughs> The real polls, I mean, I think the real polls would be showing that probably he's only getting 30% or so of support, if that, uh, even though he won that massive electoral victory, unprecedented electoral victory. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it, it seems uh, too, too, uh, too good to be true, but who am I to judge? I mean, the American electoral system is impeccable. There's never been an issue there. So um, obviously, uh, with, with uh, Biden's massive mandate that he got from the American public uh, in the November election, this is quite a fall from grace. Oh yeah, I think I, I'll sanity from uh, Sweden. He got, he got the boot from, uh, from Google by the looks of things. They, 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 uh, they obliterated his account. And he's pretty well on the uh, borderline anti-vaxxer. I'm not that, I'm not that far gone, but I'm certainly asked questions and I don't just take everything the, go the government says as God said. So basically, yeah, that's, that's the situation at the moment. Oh, the other thing is, that I don't know if you're aware of this, it, I think China is going to go down the gurgler too because Xi Jinping is showing every sign of going down the Maoist route. He is actually now requiring uh, school kids to read his little red book, t telling them how wonderful he is. He's creating a cult of personality. He's going to start running China like North Korea, and that means it's economic. Um, uh, economically, China is in for a huge fall. That's my prediction. I think if that if if he doesn't get deposed, which it, who's to say he won't? No one really knows what's going on behind closed doors in Beijing. Uh, but if he doesn't get the pose and he get, gets ahead with this sort of crap, uh, the Chinese economy is going to suffer big time. He's already alienated most nations from China. China had a pretty sweet uh, relationship with the international community prior to Xi Jinping, basically flexing his muscles and alienating virtually every country around him. So well done, Xi Jinping. So anyway, that's basically my update. Uh, as usual, please uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. i uh, love to hear your comments. And um, yeah, just uh, think about subscribing. That would be nice too. Subscriptions are sort of inching up a little bit, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that, for the support. And look, I hope you have a great day and I hope you don't have the trouble I see to get with trainees. <laughs> oh dear. I, look, I have met some good ones, so don't worry. But it, it can be annoying when things don't go right. So anyway, uh, look, I hope, I hope uh, things go well for you. And fingers crossed, things are on the improve in both Victoria and New South Wales and you can join the community of Australia again, which would be really nice. Oh, another prediction. I think when that occurs, we're going to see a boom in house prices up here because I think there's going to be a flood from the big cities. Apparently, there's already huge international interest in Queensland. Um, the usual suspects, Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast. But after that, it's Cairns. So the, the online inquiries about living in Cairns uh, is going up from international sources. Uh, a lot of that is from New Zealand, which is also in a pretty, pretty bad lockdown. And um, so I think that the real estate prices in Cairns are going to continue to rise for that reason. Anyway, have a great day and, um, and I'll uh, join you again soon.